Saseni. Karibuni kwenye video yetu ya leo. Leo tunaangazia character set and commands in C program. Last video tuliangalia jinsi ya kuunda basic syntax, token, keyword and identifiers. Katika kila lugha kama English ama Kiswahili yani in every languages we have character sets that are constructed for words and statement yani kuna ile lugha zote zinakuanga na ile herufi ambayo inatumika kutengeneza zile maneno ama taarifa pia C program inakuanga na hizo set of characters katika C tunakuanga na 256 characters every C program contains statement yani taarifa kila C program inakuanga na taarifa ambayo inatengenezwa ama it is constructed using words Zina, zinatengenezwa kutumia characters ama zina, they, they are created using set of characters so we have statement that are made up of words words that are made up of set of characters katika video yetu tuliona ile ku print hello word kwa screen hiyo statement ya print f hello word semicolon hiyo inaitwa statement katika hiyo statement kuna words zile words moja ni kama print f hello kuna word those are words that are there that are combined together to create a statement then we have the characters p r i we have different e f we have quotation marks all these are called characters these characters are grouped together to form words the words are grouped together to form statement then we talked about in the last video to jongea jia token tukasema print f semicolon these are two different tokens so if you did not watch about token make sure you watch our previous video to understand more about token but statement is a collection of tokens so keywords identifiers those are tokens but to create a keyword you need characters you need words then you create now the the keyword ama to create a token character set are grouped into two categories one source character set and the next one is execution character set When we talk about source character set we are talking about the available for the source code yani it is available when you are creating that code or you are writing the code during the source of the code the execution character set are available when you are executing the program so they are available when you want to run the program so we are going to look at two of them when you talk about source character set we are talking about alphabet example is alphabet digits special characters and white space execution character set is escape sequence so we have source character set are four and execution character set is one so we will look each one of it tutaangalia moja kwa moja ya kwanza ni alphabet alphabet uh, support, supports all uppercase and lowercase alphabets yani kama ina support kwa herufi kubwa na elfu dogo ama alfa alfabeti ile kubwa na ile alfabeti dogo tukisema alfabeti kubwa tunamaanisha a mpaka z ya uppercase tukisema alfabeti dogo ni a to z ya lowercase yani maneno madogo na ile ni maneno makubwa zote zina supportiwa na ile c program so in total zinakuanga 52 alphabets kwa c program ya pili ni digits digits is the it the digits are from 0 to 9 yani nambari tunaongea juu ya nambari so c program ina support maneno kutoka 0 mpaka 9 so zote ni kumi in total zenye zina supportiwa na c program special character special characters have special purpose yani zina zina kazi maalum ambazo zime zimepewa kama curly braces tuko na curly braces hapa hii opening curly braces na closing hizo tulitumia in our last program tulitumia ku tengeneza the body of the function so all the functions are contained inside the curly brace to show that this is the body of the function yani hiyo ndio body ya hiyo function kuna examples nyingine za special characters kuna addition kuna subtraction kuna equal sign kuna colon semicolon kuna at sign kuna dollar sign all these are special characters that are used in c program Then we wa we have white space characters. White space characters is a term that refers to the characters that are used for 
formatting purpose. So zinatumika ku format ile program. So program ipo unataka eh, ile ile results zako zikitoka zitoke ina in particular way unatumianga hizi ku format ndio results zitoke kama new line ukitaka result moja itoke kwa hii line na alafu nyingine itoke kwa hii line nyingine unaweka new line kuonesha kama hiyo ni hii ni hii ni line moja ya 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 ya, ya, ya result in line nyingine tutaangalia katika ile program yetu kama hapa kwenye line kuna slash n kumaanisha uki 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 run e program results zitakuja in a new line sasa tubadilishe hii hapa tuiweke mwisho tu, tuitoe hapo tuiweke hapa katikati tuone vile itatokea then to save our program to save program tunaweza enter file then save file we click hivyo ita save lakini pia tunaweza click hapa penye tume click save pia to build the program na click build then na click run utaona hello then hello word results imetokea hello katika result zetu unaona hello and then in a word imekuja chini kwa hivyo imeenda kwa new line so hii program e slash n inaonesha kama hiyo maneno zingine zenye zimebakia zinaenda kwa ile new line yani it creates a new line to, to for the result that is the the purpose of this white space so we have different uh, white spaces in our programs that will be creating as you create them we will be using different of them and you will be able to run to to you will be able to learn them kama e hapa slash b ni blank space this one slash t ni horizontal tab then slash a v ni vertical tab then we have alarm we have different of them that will be using them you will understand them and how they work as we continue then the next type of character set is execution character set so that one is unprintable that when you print you will not be able to see those character set they are, they are not going to appear on the screen so you're just going to use them but you will see their reaction with their performance they have a meaning so you'll be able to see their actions in the program but they will not appear as part of the code or the part of the results that you get so they are used in output statements during the execution of the program so when you execute the program you are able to see the output of what you have created kwa hivyo sisi hatuzi tunazitumia tu kuonesha ile output sisi zenyewe zinaonekana pale escape sequence ni one of the execution of character set ile tulisema it is considered as a single character but a valid character constant yani na ukiandika uki inakuanga character tofauti zimeshikanishwa lakini ukiona ina, inaonekana kama single character lakini kiran ni iko na constant yani kuna kazi ile yake imewekwa ya hiyo character zenye ziko hapo kama hapa kuna example kuna pia new line pia hiyo ni escape character moves to the next line pia tuna slash t in escape character whereby you move next horizontal tab then kuna slash b is moves previous position so you move to the previous position we have several of them these ones are even less we have more as we use them we'll be able to know the the meaning of them just know that escape sequence are not seen when you run the program but you can see their effect when you use them you use them in the code jambo la pili ambalo tutazungumzia ni juu ya comment comment are not part of the program they are used to explain more about the code kwa hivyo si code yenyewe si part of the program inatumika kueleza juu ya hiyo code ambayo umeandika they help the developer to explain the logics of the code and improve the program reliability yani zinasaidia ule programmer programmer ni wewe mwenye unaandika ile code zinakusaidia ku, 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 kueleza ile logics ya code na kukua able ku kuelewa ile code ama ukisoma kodi inabaki ni rahisi sana kuelewa ni nini imeandikwa so they are ignored by the compiler so when you run the program ama uki uku execute ile program comments as as yonekani kama part of the program zina ignoriwa yani upuuzwa na ile compiler as it me kama part of the program so unaziandika tu for the purpose of explaining about the the program there are two types of comments 
kuna ina mbili ya kwanza ni single line command ya pili ni multiple line command single line command they are used the, you use them with a double slash so you start with a double slash then you write your command you use them for one line ukuna nataka kuandika command in two lines you don't use single line multiple line command you write them with a slash then asterisk and then mwisho when you end you put asterisk then slash to show that that is the end so you put the command in between the two to show that is a command we will go to the program and see that here we can add command before the program So we are add, we have added a single line comment written C program demo. Let's see C in capital C program in demo. Then here we are going to add multiple line command. We put slash. Then we write the command and create a main function is a is, is a must for every program then we put that what we put so as you can see this one is multiple line command this one is single line command we can also add here another single line command return zero showing that it is returning zero returning zero show that it is returning as zero so this one is a single line command this one is multiple line command we cannot put this as a single we cannot put this one as a single line it will show an error so when we run the program we first save then we build then we run you see the result is the same we don't have any addition so it is ignored the commands are ignored but if we write a command like that it is a single line command then we just put double slash as a single they will command the first line their other line will be seen as part of the code and there will be an error in the code because this line is not part of the code but we have put a single line command so when we run this it will show an error you see we have error in line 7 and line 2 meaning that there's something that is not understood so this one should be a two line command you can see that there is an error so this one is a two line command so we can save then we build you see the error is gone we are saying here yes, zero error so when you run the code it will appear with no errors it will run successfully so we have said the example of command is single line command is two slash sign then c programming demo then multiple line command this one is an example of multiple line command so here in the program this is the program that we have we we, we have included commands we have single line command this one this one is a multiple line command Asanteni sana kwa kunisikiza. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel.